Good day everyone. Uh, my name is Manas. Today uh, I'm going to this unit 3 IT in action with MIS application of information technology part C. Today uh, I'll be discussing two important concepts in the field of electronic uh, transactions, namely ATM and electronic and data interchange is EDI. Uh, and ATM is an uh, electronics device that allows customer to perform banking transaction without the need for human assistance. ATMs have uh, revolutionized the way people access their bank account and conduct transactions. History of ATMs. The first ATM was installed in London in 1967. And since then, ATMs have become in our daily lives, the initial purpose of ATM was to provide customers with access to cash outside of banking hours. But their functionality has grown over time to include a wide range of banking service. ATM types. There are two types of ATM, basic and full service. A basic ATM allows uh, customers to withdraw cash and check their account balance. Full service ATMs on the other hand offer additional service such as deposits, fund, transfer, bill payment, and even loan payment. However, how ATM works? When uh, you use an ATM, you insert a debit or ATM card into the machine and enter a pin to uh, access your account. Once you are locked in, you can select the transactions you want to perform from the on-screen menu. ATM use secure communication channels to connect with the bank servers, which allow them to quickly and securely process transactions. There are uh, some advantages and disadvantages. Uh, convenience, ATMs are av available 24 by 7, allowing customer to access their uh, um, accounts and performs transaction at any time, regardless of banks, hours, or location. Uh, faster transactions. Using an ATM is generally faster than visiting bank teller as customers can complete their transaction quickly and without waiting in line. Uh, reduce free. ATMs can help customers av avoid certain fees associated with banking transactions such as check cashing fees and teller fees. Accessibility. ATMs are available in many locations, making it easy for customer to access their accounts while traveling or away from the bank's physical locations. And there have some disadvantages, limited transactions. ATMs do not offer all the uh, services that a bank teller can provide, such as personalized financial advice or assistance with uh, complex transactions. Security risks. ATM fraud and theft are common problem as criminals may attempt to steal customers' account information or cash. It's important for um, user to, uh, to take uh, precautions such as uh, providing the keypad when entering the pin and using ATM in well lit secure location. Technical issues. Uh, ATM may uh, occasionally malfunction, causing uh, frustration for customers who need to perform transaction quickly. Additionally, some older or less uh, sophisticated ATM, um, ATMs may not be compatible with, with newer banking technologies such as mobile banking apps. Fees. Although using an ATM can help customer avoid certain fees, some banking charge, uh, uh, banking charge fees for ATM for using ATM data not affiliated with their network. Additionally, some ATM charges free for certain transactions such as balance inquiry or cash uh, withdrawals. 
in summary uh, this this is a computerized device that uh, provide customer with access to their bank accounts and allow them to perform basic financial transactions such as withdraw in withdrawing cash depositing money transferring uh, funds between accounts and checking their balance it is have become a ubiquitous features of modern banking offering customers increased convenience and 24 by 7 access to their funds the machine also provide enhanced security by reducing the need for in person transaction and protecting customers personal information through encryption and other security measures overall atms uh, um, have revolutionized the banking industry by providing fast reliable and convenient banking service to customer worldwide and another uh, topic is the electronic data interchange edi uh, is the computer to computer exchange uh, business documents in a standard electronic format between business partner it allows business to exchange documents such as purchase order invoice shipment ship ship shipment notice and other business transactions electro, electro, electrically in a standardized format uh, EDI is a computer to computer exchange of business documents between companies in standardized electronic format. This allows for the automated transfer of data from one system to another uh, without the need for manual data entry. Uh, it's, uh, EDI is commonly used in a business to business B2B transactions such as the exchange of uh, uh, purchase order, invoice, and, and shipping notice. By using EDI, companies can improve efficiency, reduce error, and speed up the uh, processing of uh, transactions. It's, it uh, requires the use of standardized format for the electronic documents, which are uh, typically based on the industry-specific standard. And uh, it, uh, it transactions are transmitted over secure communication channels, such as, such as the internet or private uh, network. Overall, EDI play an important role in the st and, uh, and the streamlining business process and improve uh, supply chain management by allowing for faster and more uh, um, more accurate exchange of information between company. There have also some advantages and disadvantages there. Uh, in the advantage sections, uh, we can see that they improve. Uh, uh, efficiency. EDI uh, eliminates the need for manual data entry and paper-based document documentation, which can reduce the time and effort uh, required for processing transaction, increase accuracy, it reduces errors that can uh, occur during manual data entry and paper-based automation, which can improve the accuracy of information being exchanged, faster processing, it enables real-time processing, processing of transaction, which can significantly reduce the time it takes to complete a transaction. Reduce cost. It helps reduce the cost associated with uh, manual data entry, paper-based documentation, and postage as well as, well as the cost of uh, errors and delay in processing transactions. Um, improved... Uh, Improved uh, customer service, it can help improve customer service by enabling faster and more uh, uh, accurate uh, processing processing orders and other transactions. And the disadvantage sections, this, uh, they are at some implementation cost. Uh, it can uh, be expensive as it requires the development of specialized software and integration of EDI uh, capabilities into existing uh, system. Complexity, uh, it can be complex and uh, requires specialized knowledge and training uh, to use effectively. Effectively, limited flexibility. Uh, it, actually, it it uh, it is based on the standardized format, which can limit the flexibility of the information being uh, exchanged. Security risks. Uh, the EDI transactions are transmitted over network, which can pose security risks there uh, if appropriate uh, security measures are not in place. Uh, dependency on technology, it requires the use of technology which can be vulnerable to the disruptions such as power outage, system failure, and uh, cyber attack. 
Overall, while EDI offers significant benefits in terms of efficiency, accuracy, and cost reduction, is it also has some uh, limitation and risks that need to be carefully considered before uh, implementations. And uh, there, uh, we can say that uh, EDI offers advantages such as improve efficiency, increase accuracy, faster processing, reduce cost, and improve customer service. However, uh, it uh, it also has uh, some disadvantages, including implementation cost, complexity, limited flexibility, security risks, and uh, dependency on technology. This um, these factors uh, need to be carefully considered before implementing uh, EDI. And the overall uh, summary, uh, there is no direct relationship uh, between the uh, EDI, uh, uh, EDI and uh, automated tailor machines as they are two different technology used in different contexts. EDI is a computer to computer exchange of business documents between companies in a standardized electronics uh, format, while ATMs are electronics banking terminal that enable customer to conduct uh, financial transactions such as cash window and uh, balance inquiry. Inquiry. However, both EDI and ATM are example of how technology can uh, improve efficiency, uh, eff eff efficiency and uh, speed up process in different industry. Industry while EDI streamline business process and improve supply chain management by allowing for faster and more accurate exchange of information between companies. ATM provide customer with convenient access to their bank accounts and allows them to carry out financial transaction without visiting a bank branch. Overall, both EDI and ATM are example of how technology can bring significant benefits to, uh, to different industry by improving efficiency, reducing cost, and enhancing customer service. Thank you.